the new year means it's time for new episodes of our favorite TV shows. So today I am going behind the scenes on set of three NBC dramas. First up, we're headed to Broadway stages in Brooklyn. I'm here on the set of New Amsterdam to get all of the hospital drama from Dr. Reynolds himself, Jocko Sims. Jocko, I know you're the head of cardio, but our heart's going to be breaking for you and your on-screen fiance. She did say that she would think about uh, taking that job offer, and you know, they gotta keep the drama going. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is a code silver. Please evacuate the hallway. What do you think it is about these hospital shows that get people so invested? Healthcare affects everyone, so just to see the inner workings of what goes on behind the scenes, it's good to see you know, all the BS red tape you gotta go through and have some drama wrapped up in there too. Any spoilers you could give us? Yeah, some things happen that normally wouldn't, you never want to happen. So it's, uh, it gets really crazy. Next up, we're at Silver Cup Studios in Long Island City to chat with the cast of Manifest about the brand new season. Stop him. Jay, at the end of last season, there was a gunshot. We do not know your fate, but the fact that I'm standing here with you, I'm hopeful. We start off exactly where we left off, so the audience will find out right away once we start this year. And uh, luckily for Matt Long and myself, uh, we deal with a lot of flashbacks. We're left with this death date, end of season one, and we discover that as long as we were gone, we might have that amount left to live. And that all continues throughout the rest of season two. If someone hasn't watched Manifest season one, why should they binge it now? You have the, the romance, you have the soap, you have the mystery, you have a little bit of sci-fi. So there's something in there for everyone. And last but not least, I'm actually on location with a new thriller called Lincoln Rhyme, The Hunt for the Bone Collector, and I'm gonna go chat with the cast. I watched the first episode of this series, and it is edge of your seat from start to finish. Talk to me a little bit about the preparation. A lot of it encompasses what it is to be a detective, what it is to interrogate, studying what it is to kind of go after a serial killer. You know, just continuously be in tune with that um, as you get closer and closer to catch it. It's a really cool looking show. A lot of really great characters and really exciting stories. Something really interesting about our show is just an equal cast where we have a lot of diversity and we have a very, very strong female heroine character in our, in our show. So quickly, we're invested in you. Yes. So. Okay. Do you feel like a female role model? I wanted to make sure that although she's in this very masculine world, she can have masculine traits, but it's her femininity that is also strong and powerful in its own way. And I hope that that can, can be a role model for young women, women of any age, really. There's nothing like the perfect gift for an old friend. Do you feel like you can catch a killer in real life? I think that the killer will probably catch me before I catch him. <laughs>